Greetings, super friends. Enrico Nardini here with Scott Pyle from Four Color Studios, and we are doing a series of videos to introduce new players and experienced players back into Super System with the new fourth edition rules. So we have a board set up. We're going to be doing a bunch of different battles to show you a bunch of the new mechanics and some of the old mechanics too for the new for the new fans. So Scott, what are we going to be looking at first? Um, today we're just going to show how to uh, resolve a, a charge in uh, Super System 4th Edition Combat. The charge is probably still going to be the most common way that a model will reach a foe and try to strike him in close combat. Charges have changed a little bit though. What's one of the ways that uh, charges are different? The most significant change to charge is that it no longer grants plus two dice to hit, but rather plus two dice to damage. And since it's sort of a more a wild and careening strike, uh, the defender gets an extra die to get out of the way. So uh, if the attacker hits, he's got a big payoff because he gets two extra dice, but it's going to be easier for the defender to get out of the way. That sounds great. Well, Ego Bot is a big brick, and I want to lay into Ape Austin, so I'm going to have the Ego Bot charge Ape Austin, and we'll see how it, uh, we'll see how it goes down. Okay. Ego Bot has 7 AP, and... If he has all of his 7 AP available when he starts his charge, he could charge as far as 14 inches to reach his foe. You can't pre-measure a charge, so you sort of have to eyeball it. If you come up short, you just stop wherever your movement ends. In this case, we can pretty much tell that that 7 AP doubled is going to be plenty to get him into contact with Ape Austin on our dark rooftop. We'll double check just to make sure it's legal. We're going to go from front of base to front of base. And yes. yeah, within four. So well within his charge range. So exactly. I'm going to move him into base contact with Ape Austin. All right. So Egobot has a uh, strike attribute of five, which means he's rolling five dice um, to hit his foe normally. However, Egobot also has the implacable charge uh, boon, which is a, like a, a, an ability that you can have, and he gets plus one die on, on charge attacks only. And that, that's a little one point ability we added in. So and with his strike of five, adding one die, I'm going to be rolling six dice, and I'm rolling the new super system dice, but you could also use regular d6, and we'll explain the difference right after I roll this. Oh, only one success. Right, the symbols on the dice on these special custom dice for this Kickstarter uh, will help you quickly resolve your combats. Now, keep in mind, you can use standard six-sided dice, obviously, for the game. But these dice have these excellent symbols on them. Uh, where the four and the five would be, there are two sound effects, bam. And then where the six is, when six is count as two goals in Super System, we have Biff Pow. So they're, you're basically just throwing your dice pool and counting the number of symbols. So in that case, you sort of unfortunately threw only one. Um, Ape Austin has a dodge of four and one extra die. Because I charged. You charged him. Ugh. And he got one, two, three goals. So he actually got out of the way of your charge attack. Okay, now it's Ape Austin's turn. And um, he's going to strike back. He uh, is already in base contact with Egobot, so there's no need to charge him. And so he is going to, he could spend 3 AP and do a standard attack. Ape Austin has 7 AP available as well. In Super System, you can only ever make one attack per turn. But you can add additional AP to that base 3 AP attack to do things um, called combat maneuvers. And we have a host of those. They're sort of advanced rules, and once you're comfortable with regular combat, you can kind of start employing them in your games, and they really add that extra bit of flavor to Super System games because they really fill in the sort of details of a Super Combat that you're used to in the comics. One of the best moves um, for, a, for a Super Strong models, that is models that possess the Super Strength attribute, is the Haymaker. Haymakers cost two additional AP to perform, so your three AP attack, this is a standard AP attack, becomes a five AP attack. You add two extra dice to damage if you hit. But like a charge attack, your foe gets an extra die to get out of the way. Thank goodness. Yes. Ego Bot is, uh, has only a three dice dodge, but since I've announced I'm going to do a haymaker, he gets an extra die to uh, get out of the way of this attack. And I hope they don't all come up like that. 
Right, because as you know, the one through three sides on the special custom dice are blank to make it easy to quickly ascertain what you, how many goals you've scored. Now, let me go through Ape Austin's abilities. He has a strike attribute of, of uh, four, so he's got four dice base, and uh, you've got your extra die. Uh, I'm doing a haymaker. But Egobot is massive, and massive is a, is, a, is a negative ability that gives you extra points to spend on the model, but gives me an extra die to hit. So I'm going to throw that extra die in. I'll make my attack goal roll, and you make your dodge goal roll. Strike, dodge, uh, strike versus dodge. Oh, uh, I, I did roll score, all nuts. Scored zero goals. I rolled all good. blanks. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. All right, I tagged the big man. That's going to be a big hit. That is two. Three, four, five, six goals. So I carried six goals against your uh, zero dice uh, dodge total. That means you'll be carrying three extra dice into the damage pool. That's right. Um, my base damage pool is my strength, which is a six super one. And, and, in, and in super system, uh, super gives you a number of benefits, but the most obvious one is that whatever level your super is, you can reroll that many dice on your throw. Alas... Um, the uh, Eagle Bot did not have any super dodge, so he's not re-rolling any of those dice. No. And I don't have super strike, and I wouldn't want to re-roll these anyway because they're all good. So I'm carrying three extra dice for damage. I'll put those aside. And I have six dice base for strength. Um, so that's nine dice. Um, Eagle Bot is tough. Uh, so he has a six die super two toughness. So he's got two re-rolls on toughness, I've got one re-roll on my strength, and I'm going to hope my extra dice can carry the day here. Ooh, that's bad. I get a re-roll though. Ah, and it comes up for me. Now, I've got three successes so far, but of my four, because of my super two, I'm going to be able to re-roll two of these. Right. So I'm going to roll two of these and hope that I get some more right. successes. But I don't. And I actually forgot that I had done a haymaker, so I have two more dice oh. from my haymaker. That one fell off the board. So, oh wow, okay, that made all the difference. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine, and you got in your defense three. Ego so bot, no. <laughs> so that is six vitality marked off on um, the ego bot's uh, super sheet. I'll check it off over here. You're just going to have to take my word for it on the video. <laughs> okay. Now, I've inflicted six vitality on him. Uh, unless you do a special attack that, that, that uh, precludes knockback, every physical attack in the game has a potential to knock a foe back. That keeps uh, these combats very dynamic because models are careening back and forth uh, around the board as they get knocked back from the savage blows of their opponents. So I've damaged him with six vitality. That equals six... Knockback dice right away. Three, six. The Haymaker adds one. And I'm super strong, level one. That adds two. So I've got a bunch of knockback dice to roll here. And every goal I score on these is one inch worth of knockback on the massive Ego Bot. And I say massive because his massive is going to subtract, his massive level of one is going to subtract one inch from this knockback, the total that I roll. And since my strength was super, I get a reroll on this too. So I'm going to use that reroll right now. Wow. Okay. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inches of knockback. Minus one is nine inches, and I think he may be that precariously go close to going over the edge. That's going to send him careening off the building. Yes. Now, uh, in the rules for the rooftop rumble scenario, he would have a chance to grab the edge, but a model with such low dodge as his, he's probably not going to do it, but he would roll three dice and need to hit a target number of three, I believe, to grab that edge and hang on for dear life. But I think we're probably going to say goodbye to the ego boss as he hits the street level. I hope there's no uh, innocent civilians down there. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for watching, and check back for more videos from Four Color Studios on Super System 4th Edition. Thank you.